morning everyone it's Sunday and I've been up for about an hour I, I like Sunday Sunday mornings is when I sit down with lots of cups of tea and watch all the vlogs that I like to follow it's just a nice relaxing start to the day um, I don't film in here often because uh, the front room's not decorated yet at all and there's boxes I've got all the wallpaper and the flooring in here waiting patiently it's been one of those busy years we've had a lot go on and we just didn't get round to do it and I found the year before so stressful doing everything else in the house I just took a whole break but next year it's all going to start again next year anyway so that's the current situation I've got my cosy on no face like I said I haven't even brushed my hair yet what I did want to say was about the colour of my skin the Saint Tropez facial tanning mist infinity I think it is infinity I think it's called what a difference it makes it just when I look in the mirror in the mornings it's just not quite as harsh as it normally is and I love it it's great it makes your foundation look better I just love it you know any pigmentation you've got I find it just covers it up and it just gives you a nice more even tone if you like yeah, I really like it. I will never ever be without that spray in my bathroom cabinet. It is my favourite. Um, I'm going to show you the current situation with the girls. Bow and Chazel, they love their cosy situations in the mornings. This is literally what they're like every morning, cuddled up with their blankets on the sofa. Pose just opening her beady eye, looking at me there like, what are you doing mum? Are you going to say good morning to anyone? No. Sod off mum, I'm asleep. Oh, leave me alone. And Chuzzle, well, Chuzzle's just Chuzzle. She doesn't do much anymore. She's so old. She's 13 now. And sleeps most of the day. Hence why you don't see her a lot. And I don't know how Bowie's going to get on when something happens. I'm using my coasters or candle holders from Ikea as you can see all the cups fit on them and I'm over the moon with those for 50p a piece not bad and what I thought I'd do this morning is take you through the blog I don't know if any of you have looked at the blog so it's got slightly different things on there compared to um, sorry I've just realised I had the TV blasting on <laughs> it's, as I said I'm watching my vlogs um, yeah so I don't know if any of you look at the website at all so I thought I'd give you a little run through it um, vanity and me style.com and up here you've got your home, fashion, beauty, everything else, home and interiors and accessories. And uh, you scroll through, so the top part of the page is fashion because obviously that's what I do most of. Then you've got all the beauty edits. And then you've got everything else like lifestyle bits and pieces and I just thought I'd show you that 
in case you ever want to pop over. All of my uh, items that I wear on YouTube are available um, on the website. I've got shopping as well, so shop my beauty, shop the looks, shop accessories, shop the interior pieces. And then at the bottom is my Instagram. So that's a cheeky little plug there, but I'd love it if we could connect over there as well. So that's that. So I, I always leave my blog linked in in the show more. But I'm not sure if any of you ever have a look. So let me know if you uh, do ever pop over to the blog. I'd, I'd like to know. Anyway, what am I doing today? We're heading to London again tomorrow. So we're there for a couple of days. And well, I've got to do some photos and filming today. Bo's got her first collaboration, so I'm going to try and film some of that. That's going to be interesting. And I, actually, I've got some new parcels arrived from when I was in London last week. And I thought I'd take you through them in a little while. Bits and pieces. Christmas is coming, isn't it? We all need uh, gifting ideas, I guess. So... I'll go and get dressed soon and we'll have a little look. You can see me. It's actually quite good actually because uh, it's so dark. It's so dark. I am very grateful for this camera because if you could see in reality I really could do with the light being on and I might have to turn one on for this unboxing. Um, I've had to open the curtains, you can see in the window there, and tie them back. And it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, <laughs> I've got this dress on, but look at the feet. Ta-da! Nice cosy slippers, I'm not going out anywhere yet. Um, dress Roman Originals. I have not stopped wearing these Roman Originals dresses. Let's move over. I've just been filming a reel. Actually, I'll turn my Lumi light on and you will be able to see the glare. So if I have my big light on, that would be pretty unbearable for you. I've just been filming a lipstick application for code 8 because they've got some special offers on actually i will leave the special offer on down below you know how much i love the code 8 makeup um and i think they're doing a free gifting which is very unusual for them so i'll leave that linked down below yes yeah, so i was just putting lipstick on my favorite always wonderlust it's just such an easy easy colour to wear yes so I'm comfortable I'm in my Roman dress you wash it hang it up and it's good to go all three is it three no two of the Roman originals dresses um, I'm gonna take the other one to London with me you just you couldn't throw them in that they, they just don't crease and I love them I love the pattern like I said wash it Hang it up and it's good to go again. They are so easy to wear. And when it's a little bit colder, just put on a full slip and a pair of tights, boots, and it's warm. It's nice to have a dress on and feel good. I have been clearing out. Oh, that's gone a bit dark. I've been clearing out the um, shoe drobe. We now have all the dark colours. I've took out all the sandals. So we've got all the winter stuff out the loft. I've done the shoes. And I'm just about to do the um, clothes in a minute. I'm going to do the clothes in a minute. And it's a mess. I would film it. But I get in such a state. This is a small room. It gets overloaded. Would you be interested? I don't think so. Uh, one thing I will say is there's so many things in my wardrobe, summer clothes, 
that I got out of the loft this year and I didn't even wear them and I'm pretty disgusted with myself about that that needs to change it really does um, I tend to have lots of beautiful things in my wardrobe and indoors I'll be in leggings and a jumper when I'm not filming just really easy stuff to wear and I'm just not getting the wear out of my clothes I've said today I'm going to start wafting around the house in dresses and things that I would wear if I was going out on a normal day I don't go out a lot because I'm filming or editing or writing and I don't feel good about it that I'm not dressing like I should be and it makes you feel good it's like I've put this dress on today it's comfortable it's got to be comfortable isn't it if you are lounging around the house but at the same time it looks half decent and it gives me a bit of a feel-good factor anyway I'm gonna get the light out and we'll film this unboxing right I hope that light is gonna be okay I've just stuck the light on but so that it's going up rather than facing so that it doesn't glare you out in that glass anyway let's start off with the unboxing firstly a pair of glasses from uh, London Mall. I've never used this brand before. They've sent me a glasses case, my eyes, and a pair of glasses. I like the cool packaging actually. Very cool. Let's open these. So you've got a nice little case to keep them in. Oh, it's like rubbery. I like that. These are the glasses. I'm like that at the back. I will pick the packaging up later. Oh, they're dirty. Yes, I like those. I like buying glasses like this. They're just that little bit different, that little bit more edgier than the average ones that you'll get in the opticians. But I really like those. And I'm pretty sure that, I'm sure they're as cheap as chips as well, these glasses. I've got these on a 1.50, which would be my even on prescription I'm pretty much 1.50 so I don't know if they do your actual prescription you can look online I'll leave the details below but yeah I really like them and they stick on my head I've always got glasses on my head right next I had a beautiful skull come from a lady called Ruby Kite. Hello Laurie, I hope you Oh better. Hello Laurie, I hope you love the Moorland design and I look forward to seeing your posts with my best wishes tomorrow. Now this is beautiful, it's a silk scarf, a little bit expensive, but it comes in its own little bag, and do you know what, as soon as I see this bag I thought, my first thoughts were, I'm going to make that into a scrunchie, so I'm just going to get some elastic and do that, and it's going to make a really nice hair scrunchie, I love the colours in it. And this is the scarf. I love to hang a scarf on my bags. 
much more than I do wear them, but look how beautiful is that design. Really, really nice. These are the sort of autumn colours that I like. That's going to look nice under a jacket or something. But it's beautiful. Can't be a silk scarf. I just love that abstract, something a little bit different, not too girly or floral. Absolutely beautiful. Very pleased with that. Yes, yeah, so I've got to have to work out what I'm going to do for Instagram with that. Right. And next, I've had a dress come from Ali Street. Now, Ali Street is a brand that I used to work with right in, I think, in my first year of blogging. Um, Judy Murray, is it Judy or Judith Murray? Andy Murray's mother wears Ali Street a lot. There's a lot of pictures of her wearing it on uh, their website. And they asked me if I'd like this dress, so I thought it's a beautiful little print. And again, this is like. Um, this what I'm wearing, you can just wear it, throw it in a suitcase, wash it on without ironing it and throw it on. So yeah, I just loved the print. Look, so pretty. It's got the dark, but it's got the light in there as well. You've got an elasticated waist. It actually looks a bit big, so I hope I'm going to fit into this and it's not going to be too big we'll have a little try on in a minute um yes yeah, sleeves are they're cuffed the sleeves are cuffed but what a pretty design anyway let's have a look and see what it's like I've had some lovely pieces from Anna Louisa again. I think I featured these on a vlog a little while back. Now I know coming up to, um, yeah, coming up to the Black Friday sales, I've got some lovely pieces from them. I know they've got a special offer on. How beautiful are these? Look, pearl hoops. I thought they were lovely. This is the sort of thing I haven't got earrings in. I will wear these a lot. Yeah, look so pretty. I'll have to find out what the discounts are. Anna Louisa and I'll leave them linked below for you but I like the pouch as well because it's got two pockets in it so they're not going to rub together and these are magnetic so they just shut together I think that's lovely packaging what else did we get um, an ear cuff this is tiny I hope you're going to be able to see it I'll have to see if I can stick these in my ears and show you. And there's matching earrings as well. These have got little faux diamonds in there. So pretty, little dainty hoops. Really, really pleased. They snap open. so dark it's like night time I'm just looking out of my window really really pretty 
Now I'm going to have to get up and put this ear cup in. I think they are so pretty. Really, really pleased with those. And they all, they've all come in these little packages that snaps shut with magnets. I like that. All different colours. So you know what's in what. But beautiful. Sorry about that. Camera cut out yet again. <laughs> anyway, that was the Anna Louisa. And I just realised I've got my Anna Louisa necklace on today as well. I wear this one a lot. I like the clasp on this one. I would have liked it a little bit lower. It's just a little bit too high. But I do like the design. Love it. Right, what else have we got? Oh, Gatino. Gatino have kindly sent me a... have sent me a facial mask. So I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to trying this. It's called... Age Benefit, Age Benefit Premium Anti-Aging Mask. Yes, leave for 10 minutes, use once or twice a week, apply a generous layer over the face and neck. Remove excess. Hmm. Age Benefit Regenerating Mask. Oh, so it's going to really plump you up, apparently. You've got saffron in there. <clears throat> tetrapeptides, hyaluronic acid, sunflower seed oil, citric acid. Sounds good. Refining, refines and helps improve the look of uneven skin tone. Vitamin E. Yeah, so you've got a picture of the lady there. The before and after so I look forward to using that definitely love anything that's going to plump me up of course um, Pericone have also sent me some nice pieces fight back age fight back against gravity they've sent me a growth factor firming and lifting serum and a growth factor firming and lifting eye serum so I'm looking forward to using them I've got so many new creams and beauty stuff to use I think it's about time we did a little session in the bathroom oh it's got a clip on it to stop it from pumping it smells Smells a bit like daisies actually. Oh, it feels nice. I like things like this that are quite watery and then you can put your cream over the top. It smells of something. Not sunflowers. Let's have a look and see what's in it. Join in the ranks of the award-winning high-potency growth factor, factor firming and lifting serum. We're excited to introduce our new high-potency growth factor firming and lifting eye serum. This powerful lightweight eye serum is formulated with Dr. Pericone's next generation polymine technology. Uh, for a firmer, more youthful looking appearance designed to hydrate and visibly reduce the appearance of dark circles, lines and wrinkles, leaving the skin around the eyes looking smooth and radiant. Yep, yeah, I look forward to that as well. So that's two anti-aging new pieces to try, isn't it? Looking forward to those. Right, now... Monica Venada. Oh my goodness, I am so pleased with these pieces. 
again another big sale is going to be on with Monica Bonada. I'm going to leave the details below. I already know what they are. So, so I'm giving you all the information first and early. This chain, it was the chain that I was interested in. They've sent me two pieces as well to go on the chain. Now, I saw this online and I thought, what a great idea. Because you've got this. It's like a ball. I don't know if you can see that. But look, you see how long the chain is? You pull the ball. So that piece of chain would be at the back. And then you can even wear it as a choker. And I thought, what a brilliant idea. This is gold for May, I'm pretty sure. So you can wear it long. Or you can wear it short. It's very easy to do as well. And it doesn't seem to come undone. How great is that? And it, it, this wasn't expensive either. I think it's about 50, 70 pounds for a good chain. Really, really pleased. Let's uh, take this one off. We'll have a little try on. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put that on like that. it up to the desired length that would be about right for this one that will go down the back look and this is a rose quartz so let's just go a little bit longer just a slight tug there you go I am so so pleased with that and then also to go on here, I got one of these, the Doina Pearls. To go on there, um, I've got the Monica Veneda, I've got the Monica Veneda um, ID bracelet on as well today. I, I'm wearing this one a lot. It's got vanity written on it yeah so all of this is going to be on special offer everything on Monica Veneda is going to be on special and I love their jewelry absolutely love it the clasp does come undone but it's long enough to go straight over my head there you go right now let's change it up for the pearl It's got a really tiny little link on there so you could thread or anything onto this. What a lovely gift would that make so you could get someone the necklace and then you could buy them two drops or one drop and you could add to it so you've got different gift ideas for different birthdays, Christmases, so I'm going to pull that. There you go, there's the pearl. It's just that's it. a little bit longer, a little bit longer still. There you go. I just abs I'm I, I'm made up with it. I love it. Very very impressed. I'd like a real gold chain like this, but this will do. You know, you often 
wear items, don't you, and think, I wish my necklace was this long or that long. Well, now you can have a necklace whatever length you desire. And I like that's got a double holder as well. So the pearl's going to go in one side and the chain will go in another. That's it. And it all comes in a little gift box. Let's put the, put the rose quartz one away. So my little collection of Monica Veneda is growing. I love it. Very, very pleased with those. Right. What else have we got? Ah, oh, now I've not even opened this yet. The Solar Wave. I think this is infrared. What's those glasses? They've asked me if I wanted to try this. Red light. Th oh, it's got microcurrent as well. Red light therapy, microcurrent, therapeutic warmth, vibrating massage. Take charge of your skin, effective skincare for all. Uh, use for five minutes a day for all skin types. With a rotating head, rechargeable cable included, portable and lightweight. Yeah, so let, let's undo this and see what it's like. I am most probably going to have to charge it up, but I'm very interested to see how the microcurrent is on this. Yeah, so there's the uh, charger is in there. I'm going to do a new in beauty very soon. I've been saying for ages about doing one. So you've got all your instructions here. And this is it. It's tiny. How does it work? To open. Ta da! It's got a sticker on it. So, it's all going to come out of that little line there. So, you'll do this. I'll be giving you an update. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see what this is all about. In today's hectic world, we believe it's absolutely critical to find the time to indulge in self-care. Our mission is to empower all people to feel confident in their skin by demystifying and simplifying modern skincare. We truly hope you enjoy your solar wave experience and if you ever have any questions or need more product, our team is always available to chat. Yeah, so you've got the microcurrent, which helps to tone, tighten and lift your skin. Therapeutic warmth increases the absorption of skincare products and brightens dark circles. I find microcurrent can warm you up anyway. Red light therapy deeply rejuvenates your skin and helps with fine lines and wrinkles. Facial massage will reduce puffiness and improves the skin's radiance. Right, use for five minutes a day, results in as little as two weeks. Right, take it anywhere. Which, yeah, look at that. This sort of thing I like to use when I'm watching my vlogs or TV I find that's the time to do them yeah I'm very excited to try that they've also sent me a activating serum that's the thing with these uh, 
little gadgets you must always have something on your skin be it I mean normally it's um, a conductive gel that I would use with, with my other microcurrent machines but if I remember rightly this is a very reasonably priced little gadget if I can get into the cream gonna get some scissors oh it's blue renew Com complex activating serum blue t blue tansy aloe vera and hyaluronic acid I love I love aloe vera and I love hyaluronic acid. You can never have enough hyaluronic acid added to your skincare, I don't think. It'd be nice if we could get into it though. Let's see what this is like. Yeah, it's quite gloopy. I don't know why, but I always find the gloopier these hyaluronic acids are, the better they work. And then it leaves like a slimy residue on your face, if you like, or wherever you're applying it. And you just wait for it to sink in. And it, especially with the heating on at the moment, I think, you know, if you've got heating on, you really need that extra hyaluronic acid to quench the first of your skin where it's getting dried out it doesn't smell of anything I can still smell the um, pericone no that doesn't smell of anything at all looking forward to using that just sunk in already yeah good Right, last one. This came right out of the blue from the Skin Experts. So, dear Laurie, please find in close a selection of products from Skin Experts. We hope you enjoy. Please let us know if you would like any further information or if you would like to become part of our program. Right, so we've got Medic 8 Ultimate Recovery Skin Restoring, Skin Restoring Moisturiser Locking. <laughs> Does say locking, Moisture Locking Cream. Deeply hydrate and comfort dry, compromised and post-treatment skin with ultimate recovery. The intensive restorative cream supports skin's protective barrier. The rich oil-based emulsion has an instant smooth, soothing effect, leaving the skin replenished and nourished. This sounds interesting. Only a it's a tiny chew. Everything is sealed. Let me in. We'll go on this hand with this one. That's quite a thick cream. Does not smell of anything. I always prefer things not to smell of anything. nice we've got a lot to be trying <laughs> what else have we got SPF 50 no white streaks and water resistant for sensitive skin that will do for next year and hopefully I'll get to go on holiday it's very runny Avena, 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 
Oh, it's a spray as well. Coal. Cell shock, anti-intelligence resurfacing water. 100% glycolic acid. Oh, now you know how I like my retinols and my acids. This is gonna be 10% glycolic acid. I'm pretty sure that's quite strong. Oh, I'm excited, excited, excited. I think each night I'm going to try some of these out and then report back in the morning. Otherwise, you, you will never get updated on these products, will you? This is what I need to do. More skincare, I think. Lovely packaging. Oh, it's pink. Cell shock, yes. Resurfacing water. Oh, there's instructions in there. I will be having a good read about this before I use it, just to make sure I'm not going to be sensitive. So, yeah, I will... Pretty for the bathroom cabinet as well. Um, I'll be updating you on that one. Excited. Love anything resurfacing. What else have we got? One more piece. Avant. Now, I have some of this in... Um, in one of my boxes already I've never used it because I have so much skincare to get through maybe now is the time to give it all a try um hydrolyzed oh no it's got walnut in it I can't use it what a shame blue volcanic stone purifying and antioxidizing cleansing gel this will go to the daughter and she can report back. It's very expensive, this brand as well. Oh, that looks gloopy. I won't be able to use it though because it's got nut in it. What a shame. Rich in antioxidants. Cocoa helps repair skin cells and aims to neutralise harmful free radicals. I did not know that. Do you think that works if we eat it as well? Not that I can eat a lot of chocolate. Um, in gel using your fingertips directly to damp skin. Mm, what a shame. I won't be able to use that one. Anyway. That's it for the unboxing. I am now going to try on that dress and we'll have a little look. There you go, there's the dress. I was actually going to pair it with um, brown belt and boots, but I think it looks better with black. You could wear either. Uh, the sleeves, I need to tighten the cuffs there way too wide but I will tighten that cuff let's pull these sleeves up I'll have to tighten the cuffs up like I do it's like I do on everything but yeah it's a pretty little dress again another easy to wear little number I've paired it with my Black Reese knee-high boots. Love these, they are high though. Love these, but they are quite high. But they they fit to the leg like gloves. Yeah, very nice. I like it. It's 
excuse all the <laughs> debris this is what we've just unboxed yeah so I'm going to get changed again now and uh, have a good old tidy up I'd love to hear your thoughts on the dress though this is going to look nice this is going to look lovely with uh, the beige nap cardigan that I've got let me get that out and have a try on Yeah, now that's a nice pairing as well. I've been wearing this nap cardigan so much and it's, oh, it's cashmere. It feels absolutely beautiful on. It's a lovely length, not too long. And I like that it's not too, you know, you still get that panel of the dress showing. But that looks really nice. Right, I'm going to crack on with my day. Speak in the morning. It's afternoon. Oh, that was Dee's phone. Um, yes, it's about lunchtime, and I'm in London again. I don't, I'm not sure if I told you I was going to London, but yes, I'm in London. We've uh, come down to intern Dee's mum and dad and uh, I'm going to do a couple of bits while I'm here. That was done yesterday and we're just going to pop out for lunch to where we had our first ever date at where I used to call the pond and I think if you're a regular watcher you will know what I'm talking about when I talk about the pond um, it's quite a funny story and we're gonna go and replicate that date again we're, we're gonna buy a bag of chips and go and sit down by the pond watch the aeroplanes come over because where we used to live the we're right in the flight path it was funny actually because um, when I used to live here I used to have to stop filming in between every 90 seconds there'd be an aeroplane you don't really notice it after a while but obviously on film you would so I would have an aeroplane go over every 90 seconds so we're just gonna just arrive in now with our chips so I'll see you in a minute mm -hmm. so we've arrived yep and there's a pigeon on the car. Um, got any of them chips for me then? I suppose so. <laughs> if I have to, I guess. Yum. I just have a couple of them big ones there. Oh. Thank you. It's alright. Take a look at the pigeons. They're even on the roof of the car. <laughs> Whenever the uh, grandchildren have stayed, I've often um, bought a couple of loaves of bread and brought the grandchildren down here. And 
feed the ducks and the pigeons and once they got absolutely surrounded and I had to rescue them from the ducks and the pigeons. But here on a summer's day it's absolutely beautiful. Really nice and there's a pub just down the road there that's really popular as well. I wished it was sunny and here comes an aeroplane you'll most probably see it in a minute I'll just stick you up there like that like I said every 60 seconds they come in every 60 seconds here comes another one it looks tiny but they're quite low and if you sit here parked up at night you can see all the aeroplanes queuing to come into Heathrow. Anyway, yep, yeah, this is where the first date was with the bag of chips. <laughs> I'll see if I can get a picture now or a little bit of film of dress of the day, what I'm wearing. This pigeon is listening to me talk and his head is bobbing along listening away what's up birdie they are so tame they're obviously used to being fed they're all listening to what i'm saying <laughs> your little look of the day this dress is so easy to wear you don't even it's, it's no ironing you just throw it in a suitcase and it's good to go it's brilliant and it's comfortable the elasticated waistband is nice and loose for those chips right I'm gonna head off to Kew Gardens now not actually in Kew Gardens I'm gonna go to Kew shopping centre and uh, I'm going to have a little look around Marks and Spencers because I haven't had a browse around Marks and Spencers for a long time. I'll give you a more scenic view while I'm talking to you. Uh, I do miss living here sometimes, I really do. I used to spend a lot of time here. But anyway, yeah, we're going to go to Marks's. I might have a little try on. It's a long time since I've had a good long browse in Marks and Spencer so I thought it'd be a little bit different for us. I haven't bought a purse with me, I'm not buying anything. I'm going to start saving up for Christmas now. So I'm not going to be a spendthrift. If I took my purse, you can guarantee I'd come home with a few bits. So I'm not going to do that. So let's head off. Christmas decorations are out. That's cute. With the big Ben inside, £15 for four glass ones. Oh look, Percy Dickson's cute. Let's have a look and see what it does. <laughs> what child wouldn't like that? And I take it there's Percy pigs inside as well. Oh, it's really sweet. 
they even got Percy Pig crackers. My grandson would like that. Big Harry Potter fan. We've even got the uh, mugs there as well. quite like them they're a little bit shiny and these are like the black ones that I've just got but in uh, let's get better light but in cream they're quite nice Keep meaning to get a pair of cream boots. Oh look, they have the tan leather bag that I wanted to get. <gasps> it's a good job I haven't got my purse because that would be coming home. I really like it. Now I've seen it in the flesh, it's actually really quite nice. Such a good everyday piece. Yeah, I really like it. Yep. Yeah. I can see me going for one of them. Fifty pound lot. Fifty pound and that's real leather as well. Yep, yeah, you can smell the leather very good price and you've got the black and leopard oh there's actually a silver as well I actually quite like silver this has caught my eye I like the pattern you've got a nice little tie neck on there but it's quite pricey, £39, but I do like it, that look great with cream or navy. There's another one here, very similar. This one's nice as well. These are per una. I like the uh, gathered sleeve detail on there. I think we've got a size 10. Yep, that can come in the changing room. This has caught my eye. Knitted skirt, that's very nice. It'd be very maxi on me, most probably. £35, that's a UK size 10. I like that top detail on there. So that could be a contender to try on. Yeah, it's quite nice. These are very nice. They might look black through this camera, but they're actually dark brown. £19.50, I think they're very good. And they might look a little bit shiny under the light, but they're not. Yeah, I really like them as well. Right, first item I tried on was this cosy jumper. I liked the uh, detail on the shoulders there. It really felt lovely on. 
wasn't too sure about the leggings. I liked the material and the colour. They were chocolate brown. But I thought they was just a little bit too much on the skinny side. Loved the sleeve detail on the jumper. Um, next, this cream top. Now, I did like this cream top. Love all that drama on the sleeves. I think this would look great with jeans. You could wear a little vest top under it to keep warm. Yeah, I thought it was really nice. I like the detailing on it. Those leggings felt uncomfortable after a little while, I will say. Um, I definitely wouldn't be buying those. I just didn't like the feel of them. Next, I tried on this uh, faux fur hoodie. And it felt beautiful on. And I thought this would be a great walking jacket for bow. Keep me nice and warm. It's not the sort of thing I'd wear all all the time for every day it's a little bit too casual for me but I thought it was excellent quality for the price now I loved this dress I think this was one of the favorite items that I tried on I liked that little ditzy print it's got really nice sleeve detailing with that deep frilled cuff and it had a little um, pleating at the bust area there little self tie belt it was a nice length and it was felt lovely and floaty on um i would wear a petticoat a full petticoat under that but i thought it was really nice and then the skirt now i fell in love with this skirt i've tried on a size 10 here all the items i tried on was a size 10 but it was too big i wish i'd have stopped and I think I did look actually and I don't think they had a size 8 but it was way too baggy but I think other than that I would have been tempted to buy that skirt the quality felt really good I loved that tie waist detailing and I think you could pair that with a lot I've paired it with uh, this leopard print top wasn't too keen on it to be fair thought it felt a little bit cheap on I didn't like it but it was a nice pairing to go with that skirt hmm out of the changing room now and I miss this I think that's really pretty that would have gone lovely with that long skirt which is a regular in length I need a short definitely and that is actually really nice as well. Everything's so Victorian looking. It's weird. But I quite like it. I like how feminine it is. Even that one's lovely. Lovely sleeves. Got a nice sleeve detail on there. That's it. I enjoyed that little try on. Definitely want that bag. Definitely want that bag. I'm going to shoot off now, get back in the car. Oh, where are my keys? They're in my pocket. That was lucky. I normally forget something. Yeah, enjoy. days later and I'm back where we started oops we'll remember to turn that off this time though yes it's Sunday we've been home a couple of days just getting ourselves sorted out it's amazing how much washing you accumulate when uh, when you're away isn't it but I have got one good piece of news, really good piece of news. I am so excited. Apparently, well, not apparently, it is happening. Carrie Bradshaw's apartment 
is going to be a pop-up in Covent Garden and you could buy tickets to go and view it and walk through the apartment, take a picture and as soon as I saw it advertised I thought I have got to get tickets for that and I sat on my PC for over an hour because they said they'd launched the tickets at 2 and it was more like 3 o'clock and I really didn't think I'd get tickets because I knew it was going to be a sellout and I got two tickets Whee! I am so happy I am a huge Sex and City fan and of course we've got the new series coming out just like that which is only a couple of weeks um, and I am really excited I've got all the books I've got all the films I just loved Sex and City I'd love to know what you thought of Sex and City did you watch it who was your favorite character um, I think for me it had to be Samantha Jones as a character but I loved Carrie's fashion, if you like, and I'm just so excited. And it's like they're, they're my age group as well, which makes it even better. So I am excited. Well, excited's definitely the word, isn't it? I can't wait. I've told Dee, don't even think of disturbing me on December the 9th when it launches because I just want to answer I'm going to shut myself away upstairs and devour every minute of that new series so I am looking forward to it um, what else have we got going on not a lot other than that I've got a couple of good events coming up and obviously I'll be taking you to all of this so you are going to get to see Carrie Bradshaw's apartment as well. I don't know how long you get to stay in there. I think they're like 15 minute allocated slots because I, I bought two tickets. So one's at say 2.15 and the next one is at 2.30 so I don't think even two of us are going to be allowed to go in. So I'm going to have to work out how to take some pictures. Yeah, and Covent Garden will be lovely by December the 9th it's going to be really nice anyway I'm going to crack on with my day but I thought this film is way too long already I'll tell you what if you've reached the end of the film put in the comments below carry and then I'll know that you've watched all the film that would be great but thank you for watching. It's been lovely again to have you with me. Um, sometimes when I'm editing these films, I think, oh my God, it's just so mundane. Is there anyone going to ever want to watch that? But you do, and I think I always worry the content's not interesting enough on these weekly vlogs. But they seem to be going down quite well. And I thank you for that. Thank you. And I'll see you next week.